fine folks at Lucky Gunner tell me they shared some of my shooting outdoors films from the old days with the World Wide Web. Apparently there's still some interest in what old Manny has to say. So Lucky Gunner has asked me to take a quick break from retirement to come out here to sunny Las Vegas, Nevada and cover SHOT Show 2019. This will be my first SHOT Show in almost 30 years, so let's take a look at what I've been missing. I traveled to the show floor with my trusty instant camera to identify the newest and best products the gun industry has to offer. The SHOT Show of the 21st century is certainly much bigger than the ones I remember. There were a lot of familiar brand names alongside new ones I didn't recognize. My first stop was the Colt booth, one of my favorites. I'm glad to see they're still at the top of their game making Magnum revolvers and 45 autos. Apparently they're also still churning out plastic 22 caliber poodle shooters, but I'm willing to overlook that as long as they keep the spirit of John Moses Browning alive. Over at the Beretta booth I saw scores of their Model 92, including the new Elite Langdon Tactical. It's hard to believe the cheap Italian Euro pistol that replaced the 1911 in the armed forces is still a strong seller. And apparently, if you win a few shooting games, they'll even slap your name on the slide and call it a special edition. Speaking of Italians, at the Chiapa booth I saw a gold-plated version of a revolver they call the Rhino. It takes a lot for me to say no to anything Magnum, but this Liberace-themed six-shooter just might be the most hideous firearm I've ever laid eyes on. I was excited to see scores of companies making their own version of the classic 1911, including favorites like Smith & Wesson and Ruger. Unfortunately, a lot of these variants turned out to be chambered for the anemic 9mm cartridge. In fact, everywhere I turned I saw nothing but 9mm, plastic, and all manner of battery-powered lights, laser beams, and other electronic doodads. It looks like our little industry has finally sold out to the MTV generation. That's not to say every company has completely lost their way. I found a fantastic 50 caliber wheel gun at Smith & Wesson. This would be perfect for hunting those Texas-sized jackrabbits. Remington had plenty of classic editions of their excellent Model 700 rifles on display right alongside some newer models I hardly recognized. It might say 700 on the receiver, but to me it looks more like something straight out of a Star War. The folks at Silencer Co. were showing off some of their products with a couple of the best guns ever made. The 30 caliber M1 Garand semi-automatic rifle and the 45 caliber Thompson submachine gun. Sig Sauer has expanded their offerings to include a robust line of rifles. I got to handle a nifty little carbine called the MCX Rattler. It could be the perfect truck gun when they upgrade the caliber to 30-06. If I had to pick one product to be the best of SHOT Show 2019, it would be the Charles Daly Honcho. This 12-gauge triple-barreled beast will stop any intruder dead in his tracks. No need to aim, just level this bad boy and let the pellets fly where they may. I had a lot of fun catching up with the industry this year, seeing the sights, and of course spending some time with a few fans. I'm not real happy about everything I saw, but there are still plenty of companies honoring the proud American tradition of wood, steel, and everything big bore. I'm Manny Mansfield reporting for http colon slash slash www.luckygunner.com. Thanks for watching.